Good morning. Good morning. Just want to get on here and chit chat. Yes. Um. First of all, I hope you had a wonderful long, long holiday weekend. But I want to talk, you know, as I take this ride on in, you know. I want to talk about, you know, when people intentionally try to plot against you, when people intentionally hurt you, um, where are you left with that? What do you do about that? Um, you know, in my life, you know, I've always had, you know, some, I'll say since I've been married, someone that, you know, indirectly makes comments towards me you know I don't give them the time of day to communicate with me but what do you do when these things are being done do you ignore it you know I know some of you would say you know you would go handle that you know I've had people say I would beat her you know what you know but you know when you are living according to God, when you are really tuned in to what he says, and he says vengeance is his, he says that we don't have to go and handle situations. All we have to do is give him access. He says that we should not be doing an eye for an eye. So, no, yes, I could get on my social media and I could just go to town but that's not me because I'm a woman of integrity a woman of class I am a woman of God so you know what we have to do is come out of what people see and what people think if you are not even concerned with them seeing you as the woman and man of God being an example why should you care if they see you as they probably think that you are a punk but they don't know you. They don't know who you serve. So they tend to make judgment. Let me tell you, in this world, what I've learned is they're going to judge you. They're going to talk about you in good and bad. You have to be the better person. You have to be the one to just give it to God. And the best comparison that I can give you is Jesus. Jesus was humiliated. And God had to bring me into remembrance of that, you know. None of us can handle what Jesus went through. And he went through it for us. He paid a price for us. So, I'm saying that, that when people wrong you and they continue to hurt you and they continue to be ignorant, you know, especially with the social media people are ignorant and I always said that text messaging and any type of um, um, social media is used by a lot of cowards because half of the things that people say and do via text or on social media they don't do it when they're in your presence so you have to think you know God is giving you this wonderful life I don't care what state you're in, but God has woke you up to breathe. So you should not worry about who doesn't like you. You should not worry about what people are going to say or are saying about you. You should worry about pleasing God and what his word directs you to do. You should give your situation um, to, to God. Leave it on his table. His word said to cast all concerns, all of your, all of my concerns onto him. So when people continue to make a mock out of you, they're really making a mock out of themselves, especially if you're walking according to God. And you know, my qualm with, you know, the thing that I used to have with God is, well, wow, Lord, it's, it's going on, you know, for so long. And God is taking me through a test that things, you know, have been going on for, for years. But because of where I, you know, what does Kevin Hart say? The way that I am set up, the way the Bible is set up. See, the way that the Bible is set up and I am under direction of God and I am walking according to him. I don't have to worry about how long it takes. I don't have to worry about who's doing it. 
I don't have to worry about what is said and what is done because my God has the final say so. And it may have gone on for longevity, but God is going to give me my victory. I win. And, and I'm saying that to you. You can win too if you just ignore the perpetrator, ignore the negativity, ignore the wrongdoing. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it bothers you. Yes, it makes you mad. But give those things to God and he's going to work it out for you and I. And I just wanted to share that. Stop holding in what people are doing and saying, holding it in, running your blood pressure up, ruining your day, because that's what the plot of the enemy is doing. You know, that's his, his plot is to to come in and, and just shamble your world up. You know, he comes in your marriage, he comes in your 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 on your job, but you have to be that true vessel that true vessel oh no traffic don't back up you have to be that real vessel where you're just giving it to God and I just really wanted to share that with you don't carry that dead weight that's dead weight whatever's being said whatever's being done behind your back uh, lies you know people will lie a lot of people lie they're really miserable and unhappy with themselves and they'll conjure up this um, fiction to, to get other people who are on the same level as them, messy folks, messy boots, they'll get them to join in. But real people, and I'm telling you, the real people outweigh the messy people. So stop worrying about what they're going to say about you and what they're going to do behind your back because God is the one with the eyes and the ears and he's the one that sits high and looks low. And he's coming. He's coming sooner than we think to pay prices back. He's going to pay back on the behalf of a lot of us. So, you know, I'm just going to sit my pretty little self back and I'm going to just be prosperous according to God. I'm going to lay bricks for the kingdom. What are you going to do? Talk to you guys later.